Stand by, Americans. Here's Mail Call. One big package of fun and music delivered to you by the stars you want to hear in answer to the request you send to Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Open those portholes and let the laughter drift back to shore, men, because the good ship mail call is off on another music and laughter cruise down the seaways of merriment. And here to issue the commands for this cruise is that lovely seafaring beauty, our guest skipper, Marguerite Chapman. Hiya, men. Welcome to the good ship mail call. Our engines are going full blast and it's full steam ahead. Helping us get underway is that lovely gal who left the roads at Paramount to come to see with us tonight, Miss Dorothy L'Amour. Dotty, Seaman First Class Nicholas C. Graham and Quartermaster Second Class John Sether have asked to hear you sing I'm in the Mood for Love. So let's have it, huh? I'm in the mood for love Simply because you're near me Funny, but when you're near me I'm in the mood for love Heaven is in your eyes Bright as the stars we're riding Think of weather This little dream Might fail We put our hearts Together Now we are one I'm not afraid If there's a cloud Above if it should rain, we'll let it. But for tonight, forget it. I'm in the mood for love. Why stop to think of weather? This little dream might fade. We put our hearts together. If it should rain, we'll let it. But for tonight, forget it. I'm in the mood for very much, Miss Dorothy L'Amour. Say, Dottie, look who's coming up from the after deck. It's Cass Daly. <laughs> so, isn't it wonderful being on this ship with all these men? Oh, I love men. <laughs> Don't we all? By the way, Cass, how are you doing with the men out here in California? Oh, I got guys by the dozen. Really? Sure, they're afraid to go out with me unless they're in groups. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're complaining about. I saw you out last night with Cary Grant. Oh, sure. You know something? He took me out to dinner to the Brown Derby. Oh, wasn't that expensive? Quiet. You'll make me think I spent my money foolishly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you? Of course not, Dottie. Boy, when he took me home, he put his arms around me and squeezed me. Oh, gee, he's so strong. Would you believe it? He squeezed me till I thought my ribs would break. Well, what happened? His broke first. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been quite a night. Oh, uh, yeah, but I usually have trouble with men. These days, there's always something wrong. I don't know what it is. I... Get the... 
them, and I don't know. <laughs> you marched away and left this town. Under the apple tree With anyone else But me For there is no Secret Lover That the draft boy Didn't discover Hey! They're either too young Or too old They're either too gray Or too grassy green Pickings are poor and the crop is lean. What's good is in the army. What's left will never harm me. Oh, I got it. <laughs> They're either too old or too young. Wonderful, Cass. Glad to have you aboard. Gang, let's go forward. I think I see an old friend up there talking to a famous metropolitan singer. Yes, it is. It's the one and only Bing Crosby and Richard Crooks. Tell me, Dick, how are things at the opera? Are you still making him swoon at the Metropolitan? <laughs> swoon? Why, yes. Have you got the old dowagers toppling out of the diamond horseshoe these days? <laughs> no, Bing. Dignity still reigns at the Metropolitan Opera. I can't understand that. Last time I was at the Met, the candy butchers were running up and down the aisles, selling hot dogs, pop, and books of art poses. <laughs> that couldn't have been the Metropolitan Opera House. No? You must have gotten into some burlesque show by mistake. <laughs> I tried to tell Hope we were in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Dick, a short time ago, you and I did a little duet on command performance. You remember? Oh, I certainly remember. We buried Stephen Foster's Camp Town races. <laughs> Less than that number elicited much comment. Much comment. An awful lot of comment on it. Good that. or bad? <laughs> Think we ought to try it again? Well, I'd like to take another uh, shot at one. Well, then let's give them a load of uh, a song called Timber, huh? Timber. Timber, 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 
Everybody's waiting for timber. Swing your axe, you lumberjacks. Timber's got to go down the river today. Timber, timber. Can't you hear me calling for timber? Load that team, fill that stream. Timber's got to go down the river today. So meal, take that tree. Cut out a ship to sail the sea. Cut out a cabin for yours and mine. Out of a whispering pine Timber, timber Someone needs a cradle of timber Swing your axe, you lumberjacks Timber's got to go down the river today In the evening, by the moonlight, we would sit sit all night and and listen as those lumberjacks would sail. the guys aren't going to be satisfied with just one song from you. How about another? Shall we say amor, amor? so sweet that I repeat means I adore you Amor Amor my love Would you deny this heart that I have placed before you I can't find another word with meaning so clear My lips try to whisper sweeter things in your ear But somehow or other nothing sounds quite so dear As this soft caressing word I know
make life divine Say you'll be mine And love me only Now stick around because we'd like you and Dorothy Lamore to rehearse a little sketch. We thought that Bob Hope was going to be aboard, but instead we have the next best person, Jerry Colonna. Everybody set? Places, everyone. Okay, Bing, set the scene. That's the way to Alaska, the gold rush days, where men were men, even if they did hide behind beards. Better bundle up, Dottie, because the old wind is going to start blowing. Ain't a fit night out for man or beast. Well, go inside, beast. <laughs> Can't do it. Gotta stay here in the creek and pan for gold. Eureka, I found it. A nugget as big as a lemon. Ah, uh, nuggets, it is a lemon. How <laughs> did <laughs> <I'll... laughs> a lemon get to Alaska? See, from California. <laughs> well, the character, you gotta have character in these things. You were saying... <laughs> I'm known as the bald Wally Beery around here. <laughs> How did a lemon get to Alaska? Came from California. Strong wind. <laughs> Ouch. There's another one. <laughs> ah, what a life. Fifteen years I've been a prospecting in this frozen wasteland. What have I got to show for it? A frozen waste. <laughs> Say, look, Crosby, what? here comes Lou, the girl from the dance hall. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm hope, ain't I? <laughs> Hello, Lou gal. What you doing out here in the frozen waste? I'm breaking in a new first sarong. I came to tell you, boys, there's a big dance tonight at Nauseous Nate's. Hot diggity. I want the first dance with you, Lou. Okay, but be sure to take your snowshoes off. I want to dance close. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ought to dance with Hope. There's nobody closer than him. I can... <laughs> You kind of like me, don't you, gal? Yes, saw oh, do, Crosby. I'm gone on you. What about me? Oh, 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 oh. oh go. Uh. Go chase a gopher. Well, come on, saw do. Let's hop in your dog sled and mush on down the nauseous Nates. That's not a dog sled, gal. I got my racehorses pulling it. It's still a dog sled. Yeah. Well, come on, Lou. Let's hit the trail. Just a minute, Crosby. What's you ain't that? taking no gal away from me. Oh, I'm not, eh, Hope? Well, there's only one thing to do. Let's shoot it out. No, nope, that's no good. I can get killed that way. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I love life. What's that got to do with this here? You'll see. Music. <laughs> I love life, so I want to live. To drink of life's fullness, take all it can give. I love life, every moment must count. To glory in its sunshine and to revel in its pound. I love life, I want to live. I love life. I love life, it holds me and it's just a way. My heart hears its music. A melody glad to summon again. So we to me a story of a life at last I found. Oh, I love life and that's why. Hold it on, this is a tale. Bring it up to the land of the trail. <laughs> To drink of life is a fullness, take all it can give. I love life, 
every moment must count To glory in its sunshine and to revel in its pound I love life, I want to live I love life I love life, I love life I want life I love life, I love life I want life, I love life I want life, well that's what I'm talking about life. Thank you, Professor. You should live so long. Well, gang, we sent shipping orders to a grand gal, and she just reported to the bridge. It's Connie Boswell. <laughs> so, Connie, Fireman Second Class Anthony Curries of Hospital Ship USS Repose and Seaman Third Class E. Summerfield want to hear you team up with Bing on that favorite you recorded some years back. You know, uh, between 18th and 19th on Chestnut Street. Well, I'd kind of like to hear that myself. Do we... Uh, <laughs> do we begin at the beginning, hmm? Well, it would seem kind of silly to begin at the middle and work both ways. <laughs> so, well, uh, shall we say then, no tricks? Right. But before we, I forget it, Bing, mm -hmm. I'd just like to say that this little number is especially for Corporal Ben Leedy and the boys in the Illusions. Good, good. Music professor? Yeah, though. <laughs> There is a rib joint where the folks all meet. When you say rib joint, that's my favorite meat. It's not so high class, but it can't be beat. Between 18th and 19th on Chestnut Street. You'll hear piano played by Stacy Trent. Oh, the mighty Stacy, that's my boy. He's the biggest boogie-woogie gent. You ought to stop there if you play as you've been. Between 18th and 19th on Chestnut Street. That's what I will, accepting the invitation when I'm feeling right bright. I'm gonna wear a cloud for a hat. Now tell me, do I have to have a reservation? Yes, you do if you want syncopation. That's where the heart it talks. Well, that's for me. Meet the heart below. But tell me more about it. The man who is Sylvester Brown. I know his girlfriend well. Big Bessie wears a rhinestone gown. It's on the south side, on the edge of town. Between 18th and 19th on Chestnut Street. Temple de Bucket now. But it can't be beat Between 18th and 19th on Chestnut Street Oh, he's gone, there he goes, Stacy Trent Yes, sir, that's that famous boogie-woogie gent, Bing He's a jumping joker, ain't, ain't he? He ought to stop there when your pleasure bent Between 18th and 19th down on Chestnut Street If, if you're feeling right, right Wear a cloud for a hat Good idea have to advise you now you'll need a reservation catch yourself some of that daybreak syncopation that's where the hearty toy meet the heart for love my favorite people the man who owns it is sylvester brown his girlfriend bessie wears a rhinestone gown it's on the south side on the edge of town between 18th and 19th on chestnut street handsome, will you? Hmm? <laughs> fine. That was fine. That was out of this world. Thanks a million, Connie and Bing. 
Well, the last note has been sung for this cruise. We have to head back to port and drop anchor. But we'll be heading out again next week. Be sure you're on deck. This is Marguerite Chapman saying so long and God bless you. Signatures of the ship's log tonight include Bing Crosby, Dorothy L'Amour, Cass Daly, Richard Crook, Connie Boswell, Jerry Colonna, and of course your lovely guest skipper, Marguerite Chapman. Another mail call will be coming your way the next time you hear... This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.